AJ is now dealing with an issue. Julio might be dealing with an issue. Is it a good thing that uh, you showed uh, late in Sunday's game that you've, you've got chemistry with anybody? And you know, like you've said many times, you'll throw it to who's open. Is that maybe a strength that can come to bear at this point? Yeah, I think that's important no matter what position on our team. You know, it's something we believe in in this organization is, is next man up mentality. So, um, you know, not sure what's gonna, who's going to end up trotting out there on, on Sunday, but confident in, in whoever it is. You know, like I said, I had a, a ton of reps and confidence in those guys. And, um, you know, it's been something we've done since I've been here. So um, excited about the guys that we have that, that could possibly step up for us. It'll be a process with Marcus, but he's, I guess he's going to start practicing again today. What would you like from him in camp and how good would it be to maybe get him back at some point in the not so distant future? He came out and played really great. You know, you look at a guy who um, came into camp and just consistently got better uh, as camp went on and, and continued to make plays. He's a guy who showed up in critical points in camp. You know, so the dog days of camp when we were low on numbers, a uh, receiver, and he was out here practicing his tail off, getting better and making plays. So uh, a guy that, like I said, I have, have a ton of reps with and a lot of confidence in. What did it mean, Ryan, to get a first or back? Times in certain situations, finding yourself missing him out there, considering the chemistry you and he have, have had. Yeah, it'll be nice to get him back whenever that is. You know, I think that uh, he's, a, he's a playmaker for us. Obviously, has has made huge plays over the past few years since I've been here. Uh, a guy that we have a lot of confidence in. So, uh, anytime you're missing a guy that you're used to having out there is is tough, and you want to get him back out there as soon as you can. Ryan, when you think back to, to Nick Westbrook, maybe at the start of last year's training camp, you know there were troubles. Sometimes just just holding on to some passes. How much of a change is there in, in that guy now, and and you know from what you saw on Sunday uh, as well? He's a guy I have a lot of confidence in. Uh, he's been consistent. You know, going back to last year, he, he does the dirty work for us. He gets in there and he blocks. He's physical. He's tough. We put him at a lot of different positions. You know, he's played. I think in the last game he played all three receiver positions. Um, so he's he's a versatile guy who's who's got size. He's got strength, and he's made some big plays for us. You know, in, in training camp. Think of some big plays he made. So, uh, a ton of confidence in Nick, and and we're we're lucky to have him. A guy of his utility, and it can make plays all over. Would this have been hard to envision a little bit last year in the very early stages of of last year, even camp last year. Well, I think you know, anytime a rookie comes in, it's it's hard to uh, you know expect them to be at their best, you know, in, in their first training camp. You know, so he's a guy who's grown, who's who's bought into our program, and has grown throughout his time here, and that's exactly what you want. When you look at the opponent, how much do you look at? the pass rush versus the, the secondary, and, and what do you see from the Jets up front? It all works together, and uh, they're solid in, in either aspect of that. You know, you look at a pass rush who penetrates, they, they get after the quarterback. I'm not sure how many hits they have on the air, but, um, you know, they're hitting the QB a lot on, on dropbacks and play actions. They're pushing the pocket. They have size. They have quickness. They have strength. Um, so yeah, a ton of respect for, for the way they play. They play um, the whole game. You know, it doesn't matter what's going on. Those guys are coming to play. So a ton of respect for the way they play the game and, and their talent level. A situation like that, then do you sort of have to get your mind right and tell yourself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a couple shots this week? Uh, I mean, I always go into the game understanding that I could, I could take some hits. You know, I think that's part of playing the position. And uh, obviously, you don't want that to happen, but uh, it happens. So uh, I have to be able to, uh, to stand in there when the time's right and then be able to move when it's not. How was that feedback uh, from film when you <laughs> Still wants me to slide. Uh, yeah, I don't think the uh, the viewpoint changed, but um, we'll see if we can incorporate that here moving forward. When the game's over, you go back and look at you go back and look at the film or the stat sheet or so. Are you, are you ever amazed by the number of touches that Derek gets through the course of a game and the durability that he has week to week? Yeah, I've said it time and time again. You know, the guy's unbelievably durable. Um, just the consistency he shows uh, week in and week out over the course of the season. You, know, you look at. You know, since I've been here three plus years or two plus years of, of him getting a lot of touches and, and just being consistent week in and week out. So, um, you know, a ton of respect for that and the work he puts in to prepare himself to do that. What's the feedback from the wife uh, on the running plays where you don't get down? Uh, does she have an input there? She likes it when I run. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, I don't know what I did to her, but she likes it when I run. <laughs> Ever have a uh, I guess a, a bad experience with a slide, or are you just not comfortable sliding, or, or you know it just doesn't seem to be number one priority for for you even when you're when you're running like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean I slide a lot. It's just a matter of the situation. You know, a lot of things go into that um, place in the game, place on the field, what's what's happening around. Um, obviously, I don't want to I don't want to take a big hit and put myself in jeopardy. So, uh, got to be smart with it. 
you know, but there are certain situations and certain um, positions you get in on the field where uh, slide doesn't make as much sense for me. So, um, yeah, just got to be smart and, and not put myself in jeopardy. Did you come much baseball? Did you play much baseball? I did. I played baseball, you know, all the way through high school. So, um, yeah, I've, I've slid a lot. <laughs> no, no, feet first, feet first. When it comes to turnovers and just cleaning that aspect of things up, I know they've come in some different ways, but how do you approach that kind of moving forward since the first three games there's been a significant amount? Yeah, we just have to play clean football. You know, like you said, it's, it's coming into a lot of different areas, uh, and it all works together. So um, can't narrow, pinpoint one thing, but, but the overall message is, you know, we have to be smart, take care of the football, and, uh, and clean that up. So excited to... Uh, to have that opportunity to start that this week. Off of that, Brable just mentioned that today he's adding a couple periods for each position group to, I guess, serve as a reminder for what needs to happen to avoid those turnovers because they have come in so many different ways. When you have those kinds of days in practice where something's emphasized, is that just like a reminder, something to, I guess, get you into Sunday thinking about that? I think it's it's two things. It's it's technique, right? You know, um, you know whether it's a block, a throw, location. Uh, catch and tuck, you know, whatever it may be, they all work together. So um, it's technique and then it's also a mindset, right? We have to be aware of it, you know, going into the game. It's been a pillar of our program since I've been here and, and it's going to stay that way. Uh, and it needs to be cleaned up. But, yeah, I think it's, it's twofold. It's technique and it's also a mindset. When you came back from your ACL, Ryan, what was it like, the early going mentally and physically? Uh, and and kind of how many games before you weren't thinking about, you know, what might happen to your, to your knee out there? Yeah, maybe I'm uh, I'm crazy, but I kind of just went at it as um, if I'm out there, I'm going to be playing. Yeah. But every every guy is different. Every situation is different. Every rehab cycle is different. Um, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say I felt felt 100 percent or you know felt uh, like I never had surgery early on. Um, but I tried to play that way. Uh, but like I said, every every situation, every every guy, every injury is different. Um, and um, you know, every every man has to make that decision and and what's best for them. And uh, if they're out there, then I believe that they can play. Like that first game back, not too much second thought or, or anything like that about, you know, is this the next step that, you know. And not for me. Not for me personally, no. You guys had two kind of spirited efforts coming off of the week one loss. Now you got a game against the Jets who are winless. I mean, how much do you have to stay on guys? Got to be sharp, can't let down. And is that sometimes a challenge uh, in the NFL? Well, I think you turn on the Jets tape and watch their defense. It's, it's not complicated. It's not hard to, to get yourself ready to go for this game. Uh, they're talented. They're fast. They're physical. Um, they're making plays. You know, they're stopping the run. They're pushing the pocket in the pass. They're disruptive. They're, their DBs are covering. Uh, so, you know, offensively, I don't think there's going to take, take much uh, cheerleading to get, get us ready to go. We're going to have to go out and, and play our best football because a ton of respect for the way these guys are playing. How much uh, did you enjoy being Corey's teammate when he was here? Did you get a chance to kind of say something to him in pregame, hopefully uh, on Sunday? Yeah, hopefully I can see Corey. I love Corey, man. He's a awesome dude. Uh, loved playing with him. You know, made made huge plays for us here uh, the past couple years, my first two years here. Uh, and, and so much respect for him as a player and as a person. So he's a friend. I, uh, I miss having him around and you know, I look forward to seeing him.